Well, good afternoon. Uh, sixth day doing this. What is it? The 9th of June. So let's uh, copy and paste like we normally do. Start a new page. Pitch once. And there we go. Okay, let's have a read through. <coughs> Our stars are pasted with their backs against the wall. Right, so the big question, yes, last time was, uh, well, how am I doing the genders? Our stars are pasted with their backs against the wall, and their own eyes stare back at them, while the waiter seats them outside to bask in the sun sights and spotlights of others. He... Ask them for drinks, food, anything else, and later an autograph for the check, and for his girlfriend, sister, auntie. Hands shake as he pours shot after shot after shot, noticing their eyebrows on a single hair in place, their eyelashes rising to the ceiling. Yeah, the buzzing fans. Their lips so subtle a red you won't believe. They are real. For now, they are nothing like the posters that are plastered. Here, plastered. Plastered, pasted. Do I want a different verb in the title to what that list is? Because it's quite close, isn't it? That are plastered, peeling, faded, torn, creased, bubbled, stuck up on crumbling, smoke-confused brick. The crowd gathers. The wait is over. I read... Um, uh, is that Australian cri um, critic, James... Oh, what's his name? James yeah by James that was it right so I, I I was reading his a brilliant collection I think it was I think it might have been published posthumously where he picks his like whatever a couple of dozen favorite poems to give a commentary title's got something to do with fire I think but it's a great collection actually made me well up a few times his descriptions absolutely amazing um mm. But he talked about the importance of line breaks and on Jean Mont and stanza breaks as well. And he said, I think he said that um, you should always pause, a slight pause in the line, slightly bigger pause between stanzas if they're there to honour the, the the white space choices that the uh, that the writer has made. So I was quite like that idea. So the crowd, so here, for example, the crowd gathers the weight is over. Uh, somewhere a key snaps in a broken lock. The cameras shoot their stars, and they are fixed in time. Okay. I'm relative... I feel quite confident with this. Um, as a sort of standalone piece, almost like a snapshot of that moment in, um, in the restaurant or wherever they are. Uh, yeah, I like that. I think... The next step will be to look at some um, drafting uh, techniques or processes. I tried the memorization one. I tried the um, uh, getting readers to critique that. I mean, the last poem I thought really benefited from just anonymous workshop scenario telling me how rubbish it was and then <laughs> redrafting it i was far happier with the, the new version so maybe this needs that as well i think i probably will do that there's no reason not to as far as i can see so probably in the middle of the month i'll put that on a workshop somewhere or share it with someone but i'll see if i can um research some other revision techniques you've got the classics of m plus one uh you've got the the jumble up lines uh, there's that one where you cover up the second half. So you draw a vertical line and cover up the second half. Uh, so it would... I can't do it here, can I, really? I think you know what I mean, don't you? 
So, uh, and, uh, picture. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I don't like any of this. How does this work? I just put a shape in. Ugh, ridiculous. Anyway, covering up um, half of the poem vertically on the right-hand side so that you only see the first few words on every line and then see if you can read it yourself. I don't know why I'm talking about it now because I'm not going to do it today. But anyway, th I mean, there's a short, sharp redraft, fix some um, uh, grammatical stuff. I'm going to keep it ambiguous gender for the stars, but keep the waiter as male. I don't know why. I like the idea of like a a male gaze, male fantasy, and then you've got the irony of of the 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 way to not being able to admit that the autograph is for them. It's got to be for a female uh, uh, girlfriend or sister or auntie. Uh, it couldn't possibly be for him, of course. Okay, let's leave it like that. That's that done. See you next time.